hello friends welcome to this new video and uh, i am mohammed awas i am a certified expert of nvivo you know which is the most cited software in qualitative research uh, twitter you know is a powerful platform that provide a wealth of information uh, on a variety of topics and with nvivo uh, you can al easily analyze the data to gain valuable insights and discover meaningful patterns among the data today i am launching a series on how to download and analyze twitter data using nvivo first of all i would like to talk about what are the benefits of using nvivo to capture twitter data instead of downloading it or capturing it as pdf file or screenshots the very first benefit is the data format nvivo provide you if you use it to download twitter data take the example of pdf at one hand you know if if you capture any twitter screenshot as pdf or download a website as pdf you will only be able to see images or text if you are good at capturing websites as pdf uh, the the data format and it will provide you uh, just take the example of um, the survey forms if you create a survey form online and if you download it you will be able to see a demograph demographic variables in boxes and then you can apply different filters on that just imagine you get the twitter data in boxes uh, the name of the, the username tweet number of likes followers etc etc and time as well and you can apply different filters on that so this is the benefit of using nvivo to download the data as compared to uh, capturing the screen the websites as pdf you know the second benefit could be the uh, the file size if you capture multiple screens screenshots capture multiple pdfs it is going to you know eat up a lot of drive space on the other hand uh, the data format and we will provide you takes a very little space and you will come to know about so many other benefits as we go through this series so let's start i have already talked about how to download the software from nvivo's official website and how to activate the trial license as a new user on their website along with how to get the software installed in your computers i discussed uh, the requirement that your computer should have to get the software installed as well i suggest you if you didn't watch that video just watch that video first and then come back because things are linked you can click at the center of this video screen to watch that video and i have added the link in the description as well when you install the software the installation comes with an google chrome extension and that extension will automatically be installed into your google web browser where you can find the extension after getting the software installed it will be hidden somewhere here under extensions icon to this direction of this video at your screen uh, you just need to click it down you will see n capture you need to pin it down depending upon how conveniently you want to find it uh, right from now onwards for example i if i click on pin you will see the n capture right next to extensions icon and when you open google chrome next time you won't need to find you won't need to click on extensions and then pin it down again so this is the convenient way to find n capture uh, whenever you open web browser now let's explore twitter i open twitter in my web browser yes i also want to tell you you can download three types of data from twitter first one hashtag data second one twitter profile data and third one any search key term for example if i uh, write environment issues or issue and i click it is not a hashtag it is not a profile it is just simple a search query and you will find results if you want to download this data as data set and capture can provide you so three types of data hashtag twitter profile of a celebrity or anyone and the third one is search result of your search query let's take the example of a twitter profile by the way to download the data of twitter profiles the profile doesn't need to be verified you can download the data sets of any verified unverified account let's take the example of babar azam and babar azam is the captain of pakistan cricket team cricket is very famous in pakistan the another reason behind downloading his profile is he is trending at top right now by the way you can take the example of any person's profile i am going to do is i am going to search his name in the search bar here comes the 
link to his official profile it could be unverified in your case if you are searching your friends if you want to download the data set of your friend's profile and he's not celebrity in this case Barbara Azam's profile is verified so I am going to click the link to his official account of Twitter just I just clicked on that and now the profile is opened inside the Chrome browser where the add-in of end capture has already been installed right uh, now you don't need to do anything else except clicking on this end capture just click on end capture now end capture will give you two options along with web web page as PDF by the way here I also want to mention that if you open simple uh, a blank page and if you click on end capture it will not show uh, any option but if you search environment issue I'm sorry for spelling mistake environment issues and now this is something significant or for example I I open another page of any search result uh, let's talk uh, let's take the example of Wikipedia's page of environmental issues I opened it and now if you click on end capture it will give you two options web page as PDF but whenever you open Twitter profile or, or Twitter it will be turned into if you open Twitter profile it will be turned into tweets as data set including retweets or tweets as data set excluding retweets or web page as uh, PDF what does this option mean tweets as data set including retweets for example Barbara may have retweeted someone else's tweet right so if you want to include those retweets as well into your data set uh, select this option but if you want to uh, you know get purely the tweets of barbarism just select the second option i suggest you to select this option because um, i told you at the start of this video that there could there will be many filtering options when you download the data as data set and even if you download this uh, download the data set using this option you can filter out retweets at later stage when you when you use this data set inside and and we was software so i recommend you to choose this option and for example if you didn't choose this option at this stage and at a later stage you need to analyze or you need to take into account the retweets of this profile as well so then you you will need to come again to this and repeat the process so right now i am selecting this option and then you need to click on capture capture right here now for the first time when you open the chrome browser nvivo will ask you to authorize and capture with your profile uh, just authorize app if you want to download the data and now it will redirect you to the previous display now if you click on here you will see an option of show captured progress page by the way the tutor data set has already been downloaded but if you want to see how many tweets have been downloaded just click on shows capture progress page you will see seven seven hundred seventy four tweets have been captured and uh, if you see the total number of his tweets that he tweeted is 786 so out of 786 uh, and capture give you 776 tweets and you can check it over here 774 i'm sorry i also want to add that uh, how many tweets you can download it depends upon twitter i have used many uh, tools including max curious tool of downloading the data twitter scrapper and there are so many other uh, tools available to download data from twitter as data set but the number of tweets twitter allows you to download is the same no matter you're using nvivo no matter you're using max Curio, no matter you're using any other software so here the twitter policy comes into picture so here is the file and the extension of that file is dot nvcx now you must ask me i talked about uh, csv i talked about excel at the start of this video now where this nvcx comes from right and what does it mean n capture download data set in this form and then after importing it into nvivo software you can export that a twitter profile as excel or as csv format but right now um, the same extension will be used to import the data into nv now next step hashtag i am going back to twitter and let's say write a hashtag of pakistan super league which is a cricket league here in pakistan press enter 
there are so many tweets people are tweeting about this hashtag just click on end capture you need to do nothing else open the hashtag and click on end capture you you will not find two options but tweets as data set because this is not a twitter profile of a person who retweeted about something these are purely tweets of multiple people of multiple organizations or whatever so the only option is tweets as data set if you want to download the data set of this hashtag just click on capture and then click again on uncapture show and capture progress page 66 tweets uh, you know that is very low in number but at the same time if i write me too which was a very famous campaign and is a very famous campaign as a matter of fact if i i want to download the data set of this hashtag just write it and entered now the hashtag data is opened just click on end capture tweets as data set and then capture now let's see how many tweets it is going to give me about hashtag me too. show capture progress page by the way it is open here as well so i can go directly from here around thousand tweets and counting and counting because it is very famous and maybe people are tweeting right now around the world by the way to inject you some curiosity you can check on a world map that where the people are tweeting about these tweets that is very a useful option that we are going to explore in um, you know one of the next videos coming back to the tweets number 4500 4, tweets and counting so let's wait until it get finished you see over 60000 tweets and counting and counting and that is huge in number if you compare it with 66 tweets of hashtag pakistan super league so now the data set of them has also been downloaded 16,981 tweets have been captured using and capture of me to campaign now the third remember that the third type of data is the search result for example i wrote environmental issue and this is the search that i did on twitter and i pressed enter now the the tweets about environmental issue as a search query are opened just click on and capture tweet says data set because this is not a profile of any personality capture and remaining process will remain the same now we have the data of uh, a, a person's uh, twitter profile we have the data of hashtags we have the data of search results of our search queries now let's go ahead let's explore how to deal with these files now you need to remember the path where you have saved you where you have saved these downloads uh, you can export it by going to this three dots and then go to downloads and you will see the, the data sets you just downloaded. Uh, then if I want to locate it uh, inside explorer just click on show in folder and you will see the uh, data sets that you have downloaded. Just, just remember the path where you have downloaded in my case these files are saved in downloads. I can cut these files go to desktop save into the data set. I have already I am going to delete all these previous data files and uh, pasted it now just i remember the path of these files to these files i have pasted these three files here in a folder uh, at my desktop uh, by the way i forgot to copy the environmental issue file but desktop twitter data and here you go now, all four files two of them are related to hashtag one is personality and another is and search results of your search queries now explore how to import these nvcx files into nvivo i am going to open the software give my initials click ok um, so this is the basic interface that you will come across when you open the software by the way you need to watch that video first that i talked about at the start of this video then you will come to know about this screen better uh, i am going to create a new project going to name it twitter data analysis not going to click on any other except next and create project going to skip the tour go to import here and capture comes just click on end capture and by default my you know the path to those videos is already selected if you click on browse 
you can change the path where you have downloaded you need to select the folder not the files and it will, auto it will automatically fetch those files in, from that folder so the folder is already selected and all four uh, twitter data sets are visible here just click import it is going to take a little time uh, because there are thousands of tweets that that are imported inside the software so this is this is the process of importing the data into nvivo so i have discussed uh, what are the benefits of downloading data as data sets from twitter i think i didn't miss any step i didn't miss any information that is necessary to know about this process and then we learned how to import that data into nvivo and if you want to follow this series you can subscribe to this channel so you will not miss any video that i am going to post in next days